Hello folks, Ray here, Riverbend Longbows Outdoors. And I'm just out for a little day hike today, looking for antlers again. But in a moment, I'm going to take a few minutes and show you a few bushcraft old school techniques of uh, processing wood so you have control over your material and product for a better finished result. And it also works well for if you have a injury to one of your arms or hands. So stay tuned and I'll show you. I'm sleeping. Hello. Excuse me. Good morning. You taking a nap? You sleepy little guy. morning. Good morning. I don't think he's doing so good. Not good. I'll think about what to do with this guy. Looks very injured. Okay, so today all I brought out was my little go-to neck knife. It's just a simple piece of steel with a bone handle. I'm just out for the afternoon. I'm not going to do any huge wood processing or building a uh, shelter. But uh, one thing I'm going to show you to have more control over your material is take your knife, stab it into a stump. Let me get where you can maybe see me. And even one-handed or two, you can pull your piece into the blade. And you have much more control over your product. You're not doing big jarring motions and possibly stabbing back on yourself. And then you can do fine shavings, and they all collect to the one side for either fire starting or whatever. And say you have an injury. Or you can't hold the knife with the other hand. You can take another stick and place it as so you can hold it with your knee and then pull against that blade to get your shavings, ripping, tearing, whatever. Just like so. It's a lot easier. And then, especially when your hands are cold and you're trying to do some real finite manipulating, you can use that technique for several different things, for shaping a spear point, different whatnots. It's just something a little handy to know. I use it actually on a regular basis as a carpenter. If I have something firm and to work against as I shape something. So, just some old pioneer tricks. Try it out. Explore some new areas of your own for uh, what you can do with your knife and how you can make it work for you and not work for your knife. That's the biggest thing. Make the tool do the work. So that's all for now. And thanks for watching. We're going to go try to find some more animals. Walking stick just broke. Ah. Now it's McCain. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't find any antlers, but I hope this little video maybe helped a few of you out and experiment with it. Try it out. Here's another fun guy. Cool. So if you like it, like it, and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll share some more later. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. What in the wide world of a methamphetamine is going on over there? Holy moly. Little raccoon update. He was gone when I came back through, so it's out of my hair. 
That's all. Peleated woodpecker holes. That's pretty cool. Don't see that every day.